Good morning, everybody. It is October 21st on a good old Monday, and I am tired as hell. I had a rough night. I ain't get a lot of sleep, and I'm going to pay for it today. I already know that I am. But honestly, that ain't what this video is about. This video is about what I just saw online this morning. And what I saw online this morning was very, very disturbing. And the reason it was disturbing is because the people who was doing what they was doing actually worked for the post office. So we're going to get into it. People look at the post office as being, you know, very, very good on delivering packages, mail, et cetera, et cetera. They don't look at getting their stuff stolen. And what I mean by getting their stuff stolen in this video, you actually going to see and hear that people working for the post office still in checks, still in credit cards. And I'm not going to bash any other delivery service out there because I have ordered stuff from other delivery services out there that every time I order something around a certain year, it gets stolen. So I'm not going to really put their names out there. But as far as the post office, though, it's a difference when mail carriers out there are actually getting robbed for arrow keys, packages and mail. That's different. People who actually use the post office, they're not looking to see that the people who actually work there are the ones that are actually stealing. And yet alone, stealing their checks, using them these gas cards as credit cards, or trying to use it as a credit card. I know you could just get a limited probably goddamn gas, but still yet, the checks and stuff. Like people look at postal workers and they hold us to a high standard because of what we do far as e actually everything that we do that's the last thing you want people to look at the post office as like a whole bunch of thieves that work in there a federal job that get paid decent amount of money and y'all want to steal people checks and credit cards when i tell you it is so goddamn sad it is so sad but these individuals whoever they are a hey, you know God have mercy on y'all soul for whatever when y'all go to trial. But honestly, I don't really think they thought it through. And the reason I say I don't think they thought it through because they didn't get away with it. And I, I don't know. I don't know the, the scam scheme out there that everybody do with the checks and credit cards. That I, I ain't in that um I ain't in that league. I, I'm I'm not doing that. But whatever they thought, they thought they was gonna get away with it, and clearly they didn't. And it's like I said, again, it is really, really sad because it puts a bad light that shines on the post office as the people who work here are the ones that's really stealing versus the actual robbers on the street that's robbing the mail carriers. So we got to just, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to let y'all just see this video. Hey, BRC2 News at 10. I'm Daniela Guzman. My co-anchor Keith Garvin is off tonight. Well, that mailman delivered to an area where 125,000 Houstonians call home. And tonight, he is one of five people indicted. KPRC2's Bryce Newberry joining us now live to explain how this scheme to work. Yeah, Daniela, this is really the last mm -hmm. person that you'd expect to be stealing your mail. And the way that all of this happened is a little bit unbelievable. Postal workers who steal and sell checks are common enough to have a street name. They're known as postal plugs. That's according to a law enforcement source who tonight tells me these checks are in high demand right now. This group is accused of using an encrypted messaging app and an underground lingo to try and pull all of this off. This post office on Houston's northeast side, now at the center of a multi-million dollar theft ring. It started with USPS credit cards being swiped for fuel, seen here filling up non-USPS vehicles at odd hours. Then hundreds of thousands of dollars in checks that should have been delivered along the Roy Royal Post Office's mail routes spanning these five zip codes began disappearing. It's like every route that he touched, people was complaining. They was getting complaints about mail was coming up missing. That's a postal employee who used to work at Roy Royal who asked to remain anonymous fearing retaliation. It made me angry at that time. It is thieves working amongst the postal service. I, 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 I'm pretty sure he's not the only one. Investigators from the USPS Inspector General's office opened a criminal investigation in 2022. And when Houston police served a search warrant at this house last November because they say it had been rented using a stolen identity, they started uncovering more. 